A population that can benefit from sensory motor integration training is adolescents with autism. Autism can be best associated with intellectual disability and difficulties in motor coordination. Visual problems are very common in individuals with autism. Visual symptoms of autism can include lack of eye contact, staring at spinning objects or light, fleeting peripheral glances, side viewing, and difficulty attending visually. They have problems coordinating their central and peripheral vision when asked to follow an object with their eyes. They usually do not look directly at the object. Instead, they will scan or look off to the side of the object. Autistic individuals might also have difficulty maintaining visual attention. Eye movement disorders and cross eyes are common in autism. An activity that helps with the visual issues associated with autism is eye tracking. We take an object that is attractive to the eyes and hold it about 12 inches from the face. The child must follow the object using only the eyes while the therapist moves the object from side to side, up and down, and diagonally. What we are looking for is that the child's eyes are not jumping at the midline, but instead are moving smoothly from one side to the other without having to use the head to keep eye contact. The sensory system being targeted in this activity is the visual system. By focusing on direct eye contact with an object without head movement, we're forcing the eyes to become stronger and more independent. Vision therapy activities can be used to stimulate general visual arousal, eye movements, and the central visual system. The goals of treatment are usually to help the autistic patient organize visual space and gain peripheral stability so that the child can better focus on the central vision and gain more efficient eye coordination and visual information processing. This activity could possibly lead to lasting improvement in sensory motor integration because it will then train the eye positions to make all eight of them work independently without having to move the head. Once that becomes trained, they will have an easier time maintaining visual attention. The patient will then hopefully become more aware of the surroundings because of their increased central vision.